Heavy objects are super heavy. So why bother lifting them? After all, you're not trying to be Mr. Olympia. Well, let me tell you something. Your blonde-haired waifu is stuck under a tree and you want to bone ask her out on a date because reasons. But to lift said tree, you'll need to use your wits and mechanical leverage. Uh, uh unless you're Thorkel the Tall, then you'll just lift the tree up with one hand, spin it on your pinky while Thorfinn tries to kill you for the 10 billionth time. In episode 6 of Dr. Stone, Senku was able to lift a tree by himself by utilizing a contraption known as a pulley, an invention that was used by the famous Greek scientist Archimedes. In fact, it is purported that Archimedes once pulled a ship out of the ocean with a setup of compound pulleys. Whether or not this incredible achievement has any validity is a matter of speculation. What's not debatable, however, is the effectiveness of the pulley in lifting heavy objects. A pulley is a small wheel with a grooved rim that supports the movement of a rope to change the direction of a force, thereby reducing the amount of force required to lift said object. In essence, the power of the pulley comes from the exchange of force for distance. Let's clarify this with a simple equation. Work equals force times distance. So, regardless of whether or not we use a pulley, it will take the same amount of effort to lift the object. Of course, there are other variables at play, but for the purposes of this video, let's keep it simple. If the amount of work required to lift an object is 2, and we decrease the force needed to 1, then the distance needed to lift the object is 2, which would be twice as much without the pulley. Therefore, we reduce the amount of force needed to lift the object by pulling the rope over a longer distance. To lift enormous objects, like a tree, you can add more pulleys to ease the burden. That being said, it will take more time to lift the object, as you'll have to replace the force with the distance to equal the same amount of work, as explained in the previous example. But with proper planning and the right resources, it can be done. Just as it was done in episode 6 of Dr. Stone, as Senku saved Kohawk's life. And that's it for this episode of Dr. Stone Science Explained. If you're looking for more science-related anime videos, you should check out my Dr. Stone Sulfuric Acid video. And of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure to pimp slap that subscribe button. Or, you know, you could just click it. You know, whatever works. But until next time, catch you on the flip side.